Hello guys and welcome to another morning English podcast. I'm Day and today I'm joined with Sunny. Hi guys. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频了。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。I'm really happy to be back here. Yeah. So it's been a really long time since our last recording, right? Yeah, it's been it's been like <laughs> six months. Yeah. yeah. Half a year, amazing. After yeah. World Cup, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, actually, I want to share something interesting with you. I was、okay. reading about something.、Mm-hmm. Do you know Macbeth? Macbeth, my my Macbeth, yeah, yeah. The Scottish play. Well, actors. The, wait,、yeah. what? The、yeah. Scottish play. Scottish play. Actors actually don't say the name Macbeth. Uh huh. They say the name the Scottish play because they think when they say Macbeth、uh-huh. in an act or a play or anything, it's a curse. So, It's a curse. So that's why they don't say Macbeth. They say the Swedish play, the Scottish play. So actually, they use the Scottish play to replace, replace Macbeth,、yep. the real name,、yep. because they they think that Macbeth is a curse, right? Yeah, saying Macbeth is a curse. But here's the thing.、Uh, I thought when they said curse, when I read the word curse, I thought it was like a slur word or a bad word they were saying. Okay, so what do you mean by by saying slur words? That's our topic for today. We will be talking about <laughs> the difference between curse, slur, and one more word, which is called taboo. Taboo. Can you spell taboo? T A B O O. Hmm. Taboo, not tattoo. Okay. Not tattoo. Hmm. <laughs> 今天我们就要来讲一讲在英语中的这样一些单词。首先是有 curse， 其实它就相当于英语中的 dirty words。还有第二种是 slur words。Slur 它是表示含糊不清的 ，S L U R。那么它作为名词表示诽谤。第二种单词就是 slur words， 还有最后一种就是表示 taboos，T A B O O。它是表示禁忌词。就像我们刚刚在前面聊到的这个麦克白，因为在国外有很多演员认为在剧场中直接说出麦克白 （Macbeth） 这个单词是一种。诅咒是一个不好的象征，所以通常呢，他们在在实际的对话中、生活中，他们会用 the Scottish play 来代替 Macbeth 这样这样一个单词。所以说，啊、呃，麦克白这个单词就是一种文化上的禁忌词语，是一个 taboo。那么今天我们就要来告诉大家一些在英语中像这样的会引起一些不好的或者是歧视含义的禁忌词。So just a warning. We are using a lot of bad words today, so if that's not something you feel comfortable with,、nope. it's okay. <laughs> we'll have a clean summary behind on our official account, and you can follow us and get the summary. Yeah, it's not that because we want to say these bad words. We just want to teach you guys some stuff. Yeah, to avoid some embarrassment. Yeah, to avoid embarrassing moments. That will happen a lot. Yeah. So now to move into our topic today.、Mm-hmm. We need to behave as a proper person.、Mm-hmm. How do we behave as a proper person? Is by talking to people and showing the respect to them.、Mm-hmm. You know, when we show respect to someone, we should respect society overall.、Yes. And when it comes to languages, that means using words and con- constructions. We will be talking more about the positive sides. Now, taboos in language are topics and words that lie at the extreme low end of politeness. If you are a rude person, you use these every day. You're 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 fine. <laughs> 嗯，不知道大家刚刚听没听清楚他讲的这句话？我重复一次啊，他说的是 taboos in language are topics and words that lie at the extreme low end of the politeness.、Mm-hmm. 就是说 ，taboo 就是。这样的一些词语呢，嗯，这样一些词语，它是在语言中，它就是最不礼貌的，在最底端的一些话。所以说，如果你是一个很粗鲁的人 ，if you're a rude person, that of course you can use them. Yeah, you can、But、use them anytime. If you want to be a proper person, yeah. Yeah. Avoid them. Avoid them at any cost. <laughs> Now, to simply put it, to simply describe the difference between swear and curse words and taboos.、Mm-hmm. Before I I help you guys with this, we need to. Explain two words. The first、mm-hmm. word is bastard. Bastard. This one is pretty simple. Yeah. Done. Yeah. What she said.、Mm-hmm. The second one is 
chink. Now, chink these days is used as as an offensive slang.、Mm-hmm. It's a really bad word. 嗯 ，chink 就是现在用来形容中国人的形容亚裔的一个非常不好带有种族歧视的词语。Now to help you guys understand this, when I call someone a bastard, it means I am insulting this person directly.、Mm-hmm. But when I say this person is not a bastard, which means I didn't offend him or anything. Yeah. But if I use the word chink, if I go to a person and say you are chink or you are not a chink. People will feel offended anyway. Yeah, and that's <laughs> the difference between a curse. A curse can offend someone and not offend them, but a taboo will offend someone no matter what. 嗯，其实刚刚 Oday 他给我们解释了一下，嗯、呃，像 bastard 这样的一些 curse words or swear words、mm-hmm. 和 chink 这样的 taboo 禁忌词之间的一些区别。其实禁忌词它就是不应该出现的东西，它是社会禁忌。它一旦出现之后，不管上下文是怎样的，它都会意味着歧视。比如说他刚刚给我们举的这个例子，我们说 chink， 呃，我们说不管我们说 he is a chink or he is not a chink，、mm-hmm. 周围的人，特别是亚裔，都会觉得他，他都会觉得你拐弯抹角的骂了一些人。而且他这种否面的含义是不能仅仅的靠这样一个 not 这样的一个否定而消除的。所以说。Taboo 是完全不应该说的话，你说了之后就没有改变的余地。说了就是你在骂人，说了就是完全的不恰当。Another type of slangs are、mm-hmm. kimchi, which are used to describe Korean people, and that sounds really, really bad. Do you know what does kimchi mean? Yeah, pao cai. Pao cai. Yeah, <laughs> like pickle, right? Yeah, and the second slang word that is used to to for Asians basically is slant i.、Mm-hmm. Slant i.、Mm-hmm. Can you spell slant? S L A N T. Okay, S L A N T.、Mm. So a slant I actually means a person of East Asian、um, descent, like in reference to the appearance of the eyes. Yeah, we we guys can we can do this right now because we're doing audios, so you guys have to understand this. I don't know how. 嗯，其实这个 slant I 也是一个非常不好的。针对于亚裔的一个歧视的单词，它是形，它是形容我们就是亚洲人的眼睛那种细长细长的，有点斜斜的。嗯，不知道大家记不记得，在去年有一个超模 Gigi Gigi Hadid，、嗯、他在 Instagram 上模仿了这样一个动作，所以就被很多的网友就各种被喷呐、啊，然后也不能来中国参加那个去那一年的维密秀。Yeah, so yeah, I think she deserved that too.、So、<laughs> don't do that, guys. Like, no, seriously.、Yeah. Another famous, famous, famous taboo、mm-hmm. is using the N word to describe yeah the black people. The N word. Never use that. Yeah, the N word is quite, quite bad. And、yeah. I mean, the black people they can use them by their own, but yeah,、I、we mean, cannot do that. Yeah, they joke between each other. So let's not get beaten up by black people these days. Okay. And also. Because the pronunciation is quite similar to 那个那个,那个 yeah 那个 is in 拼音 so yeah maybe we should try to avoid saying yeah 那个 is 那个 oh yeah okay when we talk into a、uh, actually a another、friend. another word that is used to describe French people is French people froggy or frog, frog eaters、yeah. well frog actually means Frogs, right? Yeah, but frogs. They, they used to call them in World War Two frogs because they ate they eat frogs in France because it's really common. They eat frogs in France. Yeah, they do eat frogs. It's really really、that. it's really really famous. And in World War Two, they used to wear <laughs> suits that looks like frogs. The color is the same color as frogs.、Like、green. Yeah, really like dark green or something like that. So that's why they called them frogs. So the French people really、oh, hated that、okay. because they lost World、mm, War Two. So 以后不要叫法国人 frogs.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, another word that is a very, very big taboo in most Western countries is、mm-hmm. saying the word queer. Queer. Can you can you spell queer? Q U E E R. To so this word is very very bad to to gay people or LGBT communities. They they call people queers. I don't know why they do that, but it's really really stupid for like people calling other people queers and I don't know. They also call other the,、uh, gay people or. Lesbians,、Fag? yeah, faggots and fags and faggies. That's really, really bad, and we should really respect the 
that person's choice because it's a really really brave brave yeah. choice. Yeah, like love wings. Yeah. LGBT. <laughs> we are passionate about it. <laughs> 嗯，所以说对于嗯同性恋或者是 LGBT 群体，大家以后千万不要用到这几个单词，比如说这个 queer Q U E E R，、mm-hmm. 还有这个 fag or faggot F A G， 嗯，以及最后这个 how do you spell that？ F A G G O T. These two words, don't use them. Now, you guys, we gave you some examples on taboos.、Mm-hmm. Now, we want to talk about something called euphemism. Euphemism.、Mm-hmm. Euphemism is an indirect sentence that replaces bad words into good words. Um, actually, it's just like a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. It's just a replacement, but much better, right? Yeah. If we use a euphemism, it will be the F word. 嗯，其实最简单的，像这个 fuck 这个单词，大家都知道很很不好，所以我们常常用这个 the F word 来替代这个词。嗯，同样的，还有一个单词也是比较不好的一个单词，就是 shit.、Mm-hmm. S H I T. 我们会用一个单词叫做 shoot、yep. 来替代这个单词。比如说，一个是没没办法说哇，完了，你就说 oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, the F word. <laughs> <laughs> But we need to explain something for you guys.、Mm-hmm. Most of most of the people in the Western countries are a bit religious, and when they want to say some bad words, like if we、uh, we know Jesus and we know God,、mm-hmm. they would not say Jesus or God in a bad way. So that's why they would change Jesus into Jesus or God into Gosh. Gosh, like 天哪 Oh yeah, oh my gosh. They won't say oh my god. They will say oh my gosh or oh jeez, not Jesus. 嗯，因为在西方国家，很多人他们都是有宗教信仰的，所以说他们在日常的对话中是并不会直接用到 God 和 Jesus 这两个单词，因为这两个单词对于他们来说就是那种称呼神的，所以他们就会用这样两个单词 Gosh 和 Jeez。J E E Z、mm-hmm. 来代替这两个单词。So guys, this is it for our podcast today. We helped you guys understand the difference between taboos, slurs, and curse words. Okay, so guys, we just want to tell you that always be careful with what you say because, you know, what you said might be offensive. Of, yeah. yeah, offensive to some people, and also there are loads of taboos out there, and you know. Yeah, just, just keep keep learning. <laughs> yeah, just keep on coming to us. We'll help you guys. <laughs> keep keep listening to our podcast.、Yeah. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you guys so much. 我是 Dave. 我是 Sunny. Bye bye. Bye bye.